Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is a camera comparison between Redmi 3S Prime and the Moto G4 Play. As Redmi 3S and 3S Prime comes with the same camera sensors, you can consider them as the same. Now Redmi 3S comes with 13 megapixel camera on the rear with f2.0 aperture and a 5 megapixel camera with f2.2 aperture on the front. Moto G4 Play comes with 8 megapixel camera with f2.2 aperture and a 5 megapixel camera on the front with f2.2 aperture. Yes, both are same. Now coming to the comparison itself. Both the images are equally saturated and don't maintain accurate colors. Even though both look pretty good, it would be better if it were little more accurate. At the end, I would prefer Redmi 3S because it doesn't overexpose the images as much as G4 does. Sharpness is almost the same on both the cameras, but the cooler and deeper colors of Redmi 3S makes the images look much better than the warmer and exposed colors of G4 Play. 3S has a clear win in this department. Dynamic range in 3S is noticeably better than G4 Play. Exposure control and white balance are better than 3S images. Though the images look much brighter on G4, overexposure doesn't help all the time. So 3S wins once again. Focusing on both the phones is pretty much the same, but G4 Play has little problem in shifting from macro to landscape focusing, which might be fixed with a future update. Capturing speeds are way too better on Redmi 3S as it doesn't have any capturing animation. Because of the animations, G4 Play is few milliseconds late. Redmi 3S wins once again. Redmi 3S has much wider camera and is more sensitive to light. Because of the better dynamic range, background and foreground look much better on Redmi 3S images than the G4 images. In few situations G4 might help with the overexposure to make you look better but I'm not buying it. So 3S wins once again. Low light performance on both the cameras is not at all that good. Well, I know we can't expect a lot of things out of a 9K phone, but both the cameras are bad. But if we compare both the cameras, Redmi 3S increases the ISO range and makes the image look brighter, brighter than G4 Play, which also means much more grains. G4 doesn't work all those things on the pictures, but in a little better lighting conditions, it gives out softer images, which can be good in few situations. With that said, I'll leave the decision to you. Video recorded on both the cameras is pretty much the same, but color temperature shift from cooler to warm colors on 3S might annoy you. But it really helps in few situations. On the other hand, G4 only produces warmer video which might be good as we don't see a lot of shifting from cooler to warmer. The fixed warmer colors on G4 Play might look constant, but thanks to the temperature shifts on Redmi 3S, close to accurate colors while recording. I can't decide a winner between these cameras, so once again I leave this to you.
while coming to the front facing video recording. As said before, wide angle and better dynamic range on the Redmi 3S helps to maintain lot of details, while the over exposure on G4 Play might help in few situations. In color reproduction, although both seem pretty much the same, Redmi 3S has a clear win. Now coming to the conclusion, although you can't expect a lot from a phone that doesn't break your bank, pretty much everyone wants the best. Redmi 3S is by no means the best camera, but in this comparison, Redmi 3S is definitely the best one, but the difference between these two cameras isn't all that huge. So camera performance shouldn't really be your primary deciding factors to decide on either of these phones. I have already made an in-depth comparison between these two phones, so check that out for more details. So that's it guys, thanks for watching this video, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you want us to make any specific video, do let us know by commenting below this video and we will get back to you as soon as possible. This is Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off, have a nice day.